It's proving to be a very busy day. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty now joins us from Valley View. Dan, update the flood situation there in Valley View for us. Well, Leon, we've been moved twice. They evacuated an industrial area here off of Granger near Canal. Uh, canal, seven miles of it, covered in water. You see, uh, this is part of the evacuation here. This is the Lombardo Business Park. And we were uh, a, a good mile down this road, and the water started coming up. Uh, then a little bit while later, after we moved once, they came. The police said, you got to move again. The water is going to block your exit out of here. So the entire industrial area there has been evacuated. You see the water coming up from the canal area onto Granger. And uh, take a look at some of this video. Right when we got here this morning, a lot of this going on. People trapped in their cars. Uh, this man tried to drive across what he thought was a shallow area. He was wrong. The water caught his car and more or less uh, moved it like a boat in the water. He had to get out and wait for crews to come and save him. There have been about, a, a, I don't know, a dozen or so scenarios very similar to that. People trapped by water. We don't know evacuation numbers, but I know some neighborhoods have been evacuated, some uh, industrial areas and workplaces have been evacuated, and they've had to save a couple of people from situations like that on top of their vehicles. Uh, we talked to a few people about that this morning. Here's what they had to say. It's all the way up, up to that parking lot. There's probably about, i say about three, three feet, four feet through there. My car got stuck right in the water right here. I need to talk to somebody. I'm late for work. I can't even arrive to work right now. So a big headache for people this morning as they're trying to uh, stay ahead of this weather and police are trying to keep people from flood affected areas. And we mentioned the Chagrin River. Uh, we had a reporter, Mario Lou, out in East Lake to talk a little bit about their problems as well. Take a look. Ducks are swimming through people's front yards here. Houses like this completely surrounded in water. And this house is not the only one. In fact, the entire yard here and this house turned into a swamp. Several people have been evacuated and now police are blocking the roads. Uh, right now we have Lakeshore Boulevard closed between Erie and Reeves. And also West Island is closed. Uh, streets down in the harbor area are closed and a portion of Lakeland Boulevard west of 337 is closed. This car maneuvered around the deep water. At one point, the roads were so flooded, mailboxes and fire hydrants nearly disappeared. Police tell me six homes were evacuated. The local community center was available for people who had nowhere else to go. But residents say they rarely take the city up on that offer. These women say they're used to the flooding. We go through this once or twice every spring. You just wait. You wait, once the water starts coming in, the pumps go on. You go back to your ordinary life. <laughs> yeah, and you just, you hope and pray it doesn't get as high to where it shuts off the pilot lights and the, the furnace and the water heaters. But right now it's just, you live with it, it's day to day. But for now, these women say all they can do is wait and hope the water goes back down. Marielle Lou, News Channel 5. And things are constantly changing. Uh, in Mario's piece, you mentioned some of the roads being closed. Lakeland and Lakeshore are back open. As far as the conditions here in Valley View, I'll continue to keep you updated. For now, reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. Many thanks, Dan Haggerty and Mario Lou handling the stories for us. Stay with News Channel 5 and NewsNet5.com for continuing coverage of flooding around Northeast Ohio. A reminder, you can track the Power of 5 radar on our website and see the latest closings or delays due to the weather. And remember, if you have pictures or flooding, take a picture and upload it to NewsNet5.com. Michael Roberts sent us this picture of a flooded Kent State Tuscarawas campus in New Philadelphia, Ohio.